Every country in the world seems to have its own version of California Silicon Valley, each with a slightly different variation of the name. London has Silicon Roundabout, Berlin has Silicon Alley, and Israel has Silicon Wadi. In Nigeria, the country's technology hub can be found in Lagos. Every hour, 77 people move to Lagos from other parts of Nigeria. Everything happens in Lagos. It's the cultural and commercial center of Nigeria, home to the country's oldest bank and its largest independent film studio. And it's the hub for the country's fastest growing sector, technology. The growth of the tech sector in Lagos almost feels inevitable, a natural extension of just how much the city draws everything into its orbit. The centralized nature of the city has spurred innovation, even as entrepreneurs are now aware just how concentrated Lagos is. The center of Lagos technology industry is Yaba, a colonial era suburb of the city. Its narrow streets and aging infrastructure might not give the immediate impression of a high-tech hub, but Yaba's central location is key to its success. The Yaba district is positioned fairly centrally in Lagos, Located conveniently between the Lagos mainland and the island, Yaba has birthed or served as the headquarters of some of Africa's most prominent startups in recent years. The district is home to the internationally recognized tech incubator, Co-Creation Hub, around which most of the tech community revolves. CC Hub, as it's referred to in the city, is a place where boarding entrepreneurs take ideas to make them a reality. The co-creation hub's founders envisioned Yaba as having the best chance to become Nigeria's Silicon Valley. And years later, they've been proven right. Perhaps the strongest push responsible for this industrial powerhouse and cluster is the increase in demand of products leveraging technology for growth. The aggregation of tech and tech-based businesses in the Yaba area of Lagos since at least 2011 has come to be commonly referred to as Yabakon Valley. The name Yabakon Valley was coined by Blaise Abo and is still being debated by people in the Yaba tech space. Preferring names like Yaba Right and Silicon Yaba, Yabakon is a portmanteau of Yaba, the Lagos suburb, and Silicon, a chemical element used to create most semiconductors commercially for electronic computers. Although there are technology companies in this area, there are no companies involved in the making of semiconductors since the cluster is still at its green stage and Nigeria is yet to advance to the technology level of manufacturing electronics. Thus, the name is just a sheer but unconscious imitation of America's Silicon Valley. The term is still not widely known. However, it is being used in conversations among the geeks, players, and enthusiasts in the tech ecosystem, especially on technology-focused blogs and social media. The foundation of what is Yabakon Valley was laid by Femi Longe and Bosun Tijani with their tech hub and incubation center, CC Hub. 2010 into 11 was particularly an ex exciting year for the world. Uh, this is when uh, the internet was becoming truly ubiquitous uh, and what internet was doing then was truly connecting people to people from, from across the world. In 2011, Winnovation Hub in partnership with African Leadership Forum started incubating startups in the tech ecosystem but was not popular until 2012 when Bosun Tijani, a social innovator and entrepreneur and a group of individuals set out to help animate a community of change agents who believe in building a strong base for Nigeria through technology. They were certain they could help accelerate a movement of people who are driven by the need to disrupt the status quo in Nigeria through smart application of technology. Although a colossal task, it someday gave birth to what is now called CC Hub, Nigeria's first startup incubator, which eventually started the ball rolling for the Nigeria Lagos technology scene. CC Hub, the co creation hub on Herbert Macaulay Road, is a six story open living lab and pre incubation space that serves as home to over 50 Nigerian startups. CC Hub marked the beginning of a visible tech space in Nigeria. Entrepreneurs trooped into the hub and the surrounding Yaba area to establish tech startups. MTN, Google, Nokia, and recently Main One have served as sponsors of CC Hub.
And beyond providing home space for most of the tech companies in Nigeria, CC Hub also provides support in the form of mentorship and funding, especially through the pre-incubation stages of their businesses. This move has brought a close-knit community together as well as financial sustainability. There has also been a noticeable development of the telecommunication industry in the Yaba area. There were so many grants being thrown around for new startups. For example, in 2011, former banker Sheun Onigbinde co-founded Budget, a fiscal transparency project on the third floor of CC Hub's six-story building in Yaba. As one of the first early-stage startups to benefit from CC Hub's incubation drive in 2011, it received $5,000 of its $90,000 seed funding from billionaire businessman Tony Elumelu. Andela, a Nigerian-founded talent accelerator for programmers that has campuses in Lagos, Nairobi, and New York, received $24 million in investment from the Chan Zuckerberg Initiative. Yabakon Valley has two of Nigeria's leading educational institutions in Yaba College of Technology, popularly known as Yabatech, and the University of Lagos. Both higher institutions are known to be of higher learning standards and have some of the country's best brains as lecturers. There, of course, are the less seasoned institutions which are prestigious in their own right. The Federal Technical College Akoka, a teacher's training institute, and Queen's College, one of Africa's best post-primary educational institutions. The presence of these institutions was not enough though, because based on educational curriculum alone, the products of these institutions are hardly well-grounded or world-class software engineers. It was based on this problem that Andela was founded to train world-class engineers to position Nigeria in the world tech map. The basics for software engineers and developers, like data structures and algorithms, are taught to an intermediate level at best. Concepts that are instrumental to development like version control, development environments and their setups, as well as best practices in writing code, are barely touched on. More than half of the talent in the Yaba tech space is self-taught. In Zuckerberg's first visit to Africa, his first stop was at co-creation hub, CC Hub, in Yaba, Lagos. I wanted to come to Lagos first because of the vibrant developer and entrepreneurial ecosystem uh, that you guys have here. Ground zero for startups in order to listen, learn, and take ideas back to California on how Facebook can better support tech development and entrepreneurship across Africa. The visit of Mark Zuckerberg, founder of Facebook in September 2016, brought a new twist to the success story of Nigeria's technology startup ecosystem. His visit, according to stakeholders, is a validation of the potential of Nigeria's technology startup ecosystem, growing to become a technology force to be reckoned with internationally. The attendant effect is believed to see more foreign venture capitalists investing in Nigerian startups, as well as motivate existing and aspiring startup founders. <laughs> Effects of Yabakon Valley on Yaba An expanding middle class Yaba has one of the fastest expanding middle class groups in Nigeria as a whole. This is why developers fall over themselves to renovate old buildings or expand them outrightly to create apartments for working class folks. Real estate boom is in no small way an issue to consider when middle class families demand for accommodation. Reduced crime rate. Crime rate in most parts of Yaba is low. Perhaps the heavy presence of security details around the place deters criminals or could be that the ever-busy nature of the place seems to inconvenience criminals. Also, there is the possibility that many so-called criminals may consider productive work readily available for idle hands to be more rewarding. Whatever the case, crime rate is relatively low. Rapid economic expansion The local economy in this part of Lagos is rapidly expanding. Eateries, banks, hotels, retail stores, Insurance companies, nightclubs are booming, implying a lot of opportunities both for investors and employment seekers. The expansion of this area is rapid and many companies are setting up so as not to miss out on its financial benefits. The tech industry is also home to clusters. 
with Silicon Valley as the most reputable tech cluster worldwide and Yabakon Valley, a name that is still controversial, as the most popular in Nigeria. Yabakon Valley in Lagos has emerged as a leading tech hub in Africa with 400 to 700 startups that are worth over $2 billion. However, whether a Yaba ecosystem really exists or we only imagined it is a question that always seems to pop up, especially considering the recent migration of a lot of tech companies out of the area to other areas, mainly due to the lack of sufficient infrastructure needed for them to sustain. The most modern commercial real estate development areas in Lagos are on the island. And for tech startups that require bigger and better spaces, Yaba may not be most accommodating. Hence, the move to places where spaces can be gotten. The truth of the matter is that if something is not done about the infrastructure problem in Yaba, Yabakon Valley might just become something of the past. Thank you for watching. I'm Isaac. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to the channel for more content coming up. See you in the next video. Bye for now.